has um, had a very personal connection. Um, two years ago, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease called ulcerative colitis. Essentially, the tissue in my colon is very ulcerated. Um, so I like to think of it as an unhappy smiley face because the colon is shaped like an upside down U. So they're pretty similar. And my colon is pretty unhappy. So um, the important thing to remember is that this is not fatal. It's a question of quality of life. Um, so my symptoms include anemia, cramping, weight loss, extreme fatigue, vomiting, um, loss of appetite, fevers, and most importantly, I have to go to the bathroom a lot. This is kind of embarrassing, and it can be a difficult topic to bring up with my friends, especially people my age whose lives are extremely different from mine. And it can be hard to explain to them why it's so hard for me to get through a day. Um, for example, I don't exactly go around running saying, let me tell you about the latest results of my colonoscopy, because they would start running away from me. So um, last summer, when I went home for the break, I became dramatically more ill. And by August, it was clear that I wasn't going back to school. I was pretty much stuck in my room for three months. And like anyone of my generation, I resorted to the internet. Um, I went to the usual suspects, Gmail, Facebook, YouTube, Skype, but they were not procrastination tools for me. They were main activities. So um, after a while, the internet began to have more than an entertainment purpose. One of the biggest challenges that I faced um, during my semester off was feeling incredibly alone. There was no one immediate who I could talk to about what I was going through. And luckily, the internet had some answers for me. Um, I found blogs and message boards and the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America website, which actually has a guide specifically for people who are in college with my disease. Um, and they were teaming with people just like me. We shared what medications we were on, what symptoms we had the last time we went to the hospital. It was ideal. <laughs> um, and it was a safe space. There was no one who was gonna go around looking at message boards just for fun. Um, I, we could talk about our colonoscopies. <laughs> it was great. Um, so I didn't know what was going to happen to me, when I was gonna get better, if I was gonna get better, how I was gonna get better. I was extremely unsure about what the future held in store for me. Um, now, just like reality, the internet held good and bad things. I read stories about people who had successful careers and led have very helpful lives. And this was very inspiring for me because I thought that maybe one day in the future I could be like that too. Unfortunately, it also had stories about people who had been sick for 10 years and hadn't done anything. And that was very discouraging. Um, but essentially, these people were all seeking the same answer. And it convinced me that we all are looking for human connection. Um, and the internet can be just an extension of that in our daily lives. And sometimes for a difficult topic, like how many times to go to the bathroom, the internet's kind of the only place you can do that. Um, <laughs> so um, it just is a reflection of our need for human connection. And it really shows the universality of the human experience. Now, many of you may not be able to relate to the fact that I have an autoimmune disease, but you can all relate to the fact that you don't know what's gonna happen to you tomorrow. You don't know what your future holds in store for you. So the internet can really help you out with that. Um, now, today I am participating in my own way. I have a blog, and um, I talk about lots of things you might not wanna know about, but it's my way of giving back to the internet community, and I hope that people can realize that they don't have to be alone and that we're all seeking the same answers and we're all in it together.